I want to show you my CRT monitor. I'm playing at 2048 by 1536, uh, 100 Hz. Uh, this game, Genshin Impact. And this is the way I want this game to look. The colors and the motion resolution. This is exactly the way I want this game to look. It's just absolutely perfect. So what's the problem? the screen size that's the only problem I have with this uh, CRT I'm trying to find the big one uh, and I I will definitely have that FW900 I will <laughs> the problem is people are charging like three thousand dollars for that because it's famous uh, everyone knows that's the best CRT monitor ever created you know Linus made a video about it uh, you know, Digital Foundry, uh, everybody. So it's like, you know, impossible to get uh, at a reasonable price. I'm not paying $3,000. <laughs> That's insane. If it's brand new, yes. But used, no way. And even brand new, that's, that's a crazy price to pay. But you know what you're getting with that. So should you get a CRT monitor? Absolutely, man. If you can find... A CRT monitor that's 21 inches and you can get it for less than a hundred dollars go for it and especially if you can find it uh, you know if it's high refresh rate and if it's especially uh, you know 16 by 10 aspect ratio so that's the other problem 4 by 3 aspect ratio is not supported in some games so you know you have that problem but you know a game like this for example it is supported and it looks absolutely amazing to get that 100 uh, 100 Hertz I do need it a mod uh, basically with the mod I can set up the you know different refresh rate because this game is locked to 60 but if you if you've never seen a CRT get it <laughs> <laughs> it might ruin your your life because it's too amazing in motion when you move the camera so I am used to the OLED black frame insertion at 120 frames it looks like this the, the OLED at one, 120 frames you move the camera it looks like this this might be better the, the, the problem is uh, you know the motion resolution on the CRT is perfect but it does have some trailing artifacts which are not visible like on the game like there's you don't see any any trailing artifacts it might be visible you know if you're using the computer your mouse on Windows it might be visible but aside from that it is virtually perfect like you know to eliminate this uh, screen technology is just criminal criminal eliminating this technology was something criminal like it's n I don't understand I I get it you know LCD was cheap it was a bigger screen size less weight less space less power consumption okay uh, that's okay but you cannot eliminate this technology because LCD in comparison with this CRT it's just garbage okay garbage it's not it's not even they are not even on the same realm okay no way like I have a and I'm going to do a video uh, comparing though you know my monitor the OLED the plasma CRT I'm trying to record that is is difficult because it takes a lot of space <laughs> on my room and I don't have a way to to show all the screens at the same time but my gaming monitor at 95 Hertz with a uh, free sync it is garbage in motion in comparison with this it's just garbage so if you can find the 27 inch CRT monitor I I mean and it's a high resolution and 16 by 10 that that's just insane <laughs> get it get it you're gonna be so happy with that and so frustrated 
uh, with uh, your gaming monitor at the same time that you're not gonna believe it so also the colors man it's not only the motion resolution this game I opened this game on the OLED I turn on my HLG trick to use black from insertion and I realize man the colors are are overly saturated this is not looking right I need to figure this out this is not looking right and my guess is that on on the switch on, on the Nintendo switch those those kind of cartoonish uh, games that's gonna be very similar uh, it's gonna it's not gonna look right this looks right this looks exactly as it's supposed to look on the recording for some reason is looking warmer than in front of me a lot warmer for some reason I don't know why uh, but you know in front of me it's just perfect the colors they do they look perfect like I have no complaints look at the skin tone of the character is perfect it has is not red is a skin tone <laughs> It looks awesome, awesome. Everything looks just right. The only problem is the screen size. So if I get it, you know, 27, even 21 inches might be acceptable. But if I can get a 27 inch high resolution, high refresh rate, I would play this game on that on that display because it's it just looks so amazing. Look at that. The sky, the blue of the sky, is just right. Again, on the recording, for some reason, it's looking uh, warm. Uh, it's looking warmer than in front of me. But, you know, it's just a beauty. So you should definitely get one, man. <laughs> Even if you have an OLED, whatever. If you've never seen it, get it. Get it. They are cheap. Like, aside from that, um, you know, ex ex stupidly expensive. Uh, Sony Trinitron um, You can get it cheap. You can get a good one. I mean, I got this one for free by the way <laughs> I didn't pay anything for this one. It was free So you can find it for free too. There are some people that just give it away so This is free and it supports a hundred Hertz like I have This this is a high resolution. It's looking sharp. You can see on the recording that this is looking sharp the only problem I have is the screen size, but it's looking sharp, 100 hertz, and it's so easy to drive also because, I mean, <laughs> I have a 3080, that's overkill. But look at the GPU utilization, 44, 45% is, is nothing for this GPU. So if you have like a 2060, for example, you can definitely do like 100 hertz in most games of course you, you need a cpu a good cpu for that because you know, high refresh uh is going to demand uh you know more powerful cpu uh, but even at 60 man you don't even need maybe you can see some flickering at 60 so you can use 75 or 80 85 hertz that's the thing you can you can set on the crt you can set any resolution any resolution you want and any refresh rate i mean almost any they ask there is a limit of course but in between the limits you can set whatever you want and it's going to look sharp no matter what the resolution i can set this to six six forty eight <laughs> or you know whatever resolution even low resolutions it's gonna look sharp of course you're gonna see jaggies the image is not gonna look uh, spectacular but at high resolution like what I'm using right now this looks spectacular amazing and the brightness is great like this I have to measure the the brightness of this uh, CRT but it is it is fantastic I have no complaints especially on a dark room you're not gonna see any problem with it and like I said the well, I don't. I don't remember if I said that. I have the screen brightness of this CRT in zero. <laughs> Look, let me see if I can show you that brightness zero, <laughs> and the contrast a hundred percent. 
or 99. I set it to 100% and it changes automatically to 99. So I have some options for colors uh, here. I can I can change it to so 6500K is gonna be uh, less gentle for the eyes, but it's gonna be a little bit more uh, accurate. And this 93 is gonna be I'm sorry, it's the opposite. So this 93 is gonna be more bluish. And, and the 65, I thought it was the opposite. The 65, more gentle for your eyes. So this 93 might be uh, you know, more accurate. I'm not sure. I like this 65 more. But you can also you know, adjust the colors if you want on sRGB, but I don't like it uh, because it looks washed out, in my opinion. So this 90, let's try on this one, see how it looks. Let's try on this one. See if on the on the recording see if it looks better. Okay. It still looks warm on the recording for some reason. In front of me it looks fantastic, man. Just the way the way this is supposed to look. Just fantastic. Beautiful game. I'm really in love with the the sign. I'm gonna play this game a lot a lot and I'm gonna try to also match so if I can use the HLG trick on the OLED and I can get these colors I would be happy exactly the same uh, sky blue that I'm getting here the color of the grass the saturation of this green so these green tones if I get this color saturation I would be happy that's all I want. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to share that, man. If you've never seen a CRT, get one. I got this one for free. Get one, and you are going to be amazed when you do this. Your your jaw is gonna drop. <laughs> this is like OLED 120 black frame insertion. It's actually better. The thing is, the OLED is a higher resolution, so when you move the camera, you get a lot of detail. Of course, the OLED is better. There's no, no comparison. But if somehow it was possible to get, you know, 4K CRT, <laughs> you know, 32 inches or, or even you know, 40 inches, something like that, that would be bananas. <laughs> a hundred, a hundred hertz. I don't think you need more than 100 hertz, to be honest. On a CRT, you can get it. There are some CRTs that are like 180, something like that. But it's not necessary. This, this motion clarity is just perfection. I don't see the need maybe to get a lower input lag, which is none. <laughs> so it's like now, 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 now. It's just no, no input lag, zero. <laughs> no no input lag it's non-existent <laughs> this is really this is the perfect technology for gaming if you can get you know 4k CRT G-Sync um, <laughs> you know it's not gonna be HDR or anything like that but it's awesome man. just get one See if you can get one, if you've never seen it. And it's a, a nice toy to play with, for sure. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, I was planning to do a different video today, but it was difficult to set up all the screens. I wanted to compare all the screens. So, I will talk about uh, screen sizes and differences. Compare all the CRT, my gaming monitor, the plasma, the OLED. And, and yeah, I'm going to give you my opinion about that and try to capture all the screens at the same time and see if I can do a good job. <laughs> the plasma is very difficult to record. I was trying to do that today, but the plasma was not, for some reason, the colors. Um, on the recording, they look like, you know, with that color banding, it's, it's a mess. And I don't know how to record it. Um, 
I don't know why that sometimes that happens. So, um, yeah, the plasma is difficult to record. And also the CRT when it's 60 hertz, you see the the flickering on the recording. It is uh, terrible. It's, it's very difficult to record. But now at 100 at 100 hertz, it's looking fantastic.